it's ridiculously early in the morning, about 4.30am, but that makes it the perfect time for a bit of landscape photography. So, I'm uh, walking down to Seacombe um, on the Jurassic Coast. It's about a uh, mile and a half from uh, Worth and Travers. A um, little bit of a trek down into the Seacombe Valley. Um, nothing too overly difficult though. Um, one thing I should point out when you're doing sunrises like this in a, a relatively remote location. Um, always advisable to check your route in the daylight first. Um, it's very easy to get lost, things look different in the dark, let alone uh, trying to navigate a place you've uh, never been before. So, I've arrived at Steakham. First light is just beginning to break. Apologies for the very dodgy footage. Um, what you can't see below is there's um, a ledge, a series of ledges really, uh, with the sea lapping up and a stream um, running down into the sea. So I'm gonna put uh, the phone away, um, have a wander around, gotta be a bit careful because these ledges are always a bit slippery, um, and uh, then set the camera up. So it's just a question of uh, waiting for the light now, um, hoping the clouds really illuminate. Um, it's looking quite hopeful at the minute, we'll see what happens. After this exposure I've got an idea for another one, looking the other way. Um, so I'm going to wait here, see what happens with these clouds, get this shot, and then we'll move over the other side of the, um, of the kind of small cove here uh, and, and um, set up uh, for the second, second shot of the day. We're going wide angle this morning, we're at 16mm, um, got my uh, filters on here again so we've got the circular polarizer um, on the front there followed by this time I've just changed it to a three stop ND grad and then a three stop ND filter <clears throat> so we can keep the exposure quite um, reasonably long to kind of blur out the water as it crashes there. Uh, uh, against the ledges there. This is it, this is the moment. Um, I'm all composed up and the sky, I think, is just about to turn pink. We've got perfect cloud coverage. Um, just waiting for the right wave to hit, waiting for just a little bit more color in the sky and then we'll get, get the shot. So one of the uh, challenges of coastal photography, I tried to make sure I was well away from the waves as they crashed in and I've not had a wave anywhere near me all morning and then one massive freak wave has just drenched me and the camera. Luckily I have a waterproof top on, so that's pretty cool. Wish I'd put, put the waterproof trousers on right now, especially as I've got them in the bag because that was a bit of an oversight. I have to dry out the camera. Uh, glad, glad these cannons are weather sealed, I can tell you that right now. Well, what a wonderful morning this morning. Um, just making my way up from Seacombe. Uh, the trek back to the car. Unfortunately, I didn't get the second composition. The light really wasn't actually that great after the initial burst of colour in the clouds. Um, it's just a, a, a bit dull. Uh, but never mind. Despite the drenching, I think I've got um, a really lovely uh, image um, on the camera from this morning. Um, so it was well worth the uh, 4.30 wake up call um, and the trek down here in the dark. So back to the tent, dry myself up, 
grab a shower and then do a bit of exploring for tonight's sunset.